What's good, YouTube? It's your girl, Tati the Hottie, and that's sort of why not an I, and if you didn't know, not a fuck you do, period. And if you're new to my channel, that's Tati with a Y, and that's Hottie with an I, and of course, you didn't know, so now you know period and as y'all can tell by the thumbnail and the title i will be doing a q a for the ones um that's new to the channel and for the ones that's been here and want to catch up on some stuff want to know some new things about your girl want to know some old past that i have been avoiding um whatever y'all want to know all the questions y'all been asking me i'm gonna answer okay so we got some spicy questions we got some questions about my life we got some questions about my love life whatever y'all want to know we're gonna get into it so before y'all do anything like comment and subscribe turn the post bell notifications on i'm not gonna hold y'all too long let's get into this video okay so y'all i got my cousin behind the camera she's gonna be the one asking me the questions y'all know marita don the biggest don the yeah. only don <laughs> period so she's gonna be asking me the questions i'm gonna be answering them of course so y'all go subscribe to her channel her channel will be in the description below so y'all go subscribe to her channel go run the views up period let's get into it okay so the first question that i want to know okay. is who is tati the motherfucking heidi like who, who is the girl? Let them know, like, you know, about who you a little bit. Okay, so y'all, if y'all don't know, my name is Tati, Tatiana, for, to be exact. My whole name is Tatiana. I just go by Tati because, you know, Tati, that, it just fits me. Um, I'm 23 years old. I was born in Bakersfield, California. Um, I was raised, I can really say I was raised in San Antonio and Houston, but if you want to really know, I was raised in Houston. Houston major girl, you know what I'm saying? Um... What y'all want to know? Who I am? I'm very charismatic. Um, I'm very genuine. I'm a genuine ass person. I like to have fun. Um, my heart is real big. I'm a cry baby. Like I cry about a lot of shit. Y'all just cried earlier today. Don't even know why I was crying. I just cried. Um, I'm just that girl. Like I like to have fun. Like if you if you really been around me since day one, do you know what type of person I am? I'm that girl. Like you gonna love me from. Point A to point B, point A to point Z, really. So, I mean, hey, I'm that girl, period. Okay, so we gonna start a little, a little bit. <laughs> we gonna start by, um, okay, so we gonna do when you and Bink slinking again. When are me and Bink slinking again? Um, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. P and Takia called my phone the other day. Um, we talked about a lot of things. We talked about the problems that we thought we had or whatever. It was just very. It was just a lot of miscommunication, um, misunderstandings. Um, they actually moved to Houston. I'm in Houston, Texas right now. So hopefully we we will be able to link soon. They want to collab with me. So I mean, I'm gonna give you, I'm gonna give it to y'all, you know, I'm gonna give it to the girls or whatever. We gonna link, we gonna link real soon. We gonna link real soon. Okay, so that was really the mo one of the most asked questions. So I had to start it off like that, get a okay. little, you know. Okay. So we gonna get into more of you. Okay. So the second question that I have for you is, have you been doing okay? Actually, y'all, I'm not gonna cap. Um, I can say as of the mindset that I'm in right now and in the, in the stage that I'm in right now, yes, I have been doing more than okay. I'm not gonna lie. I have my moments sometimes to where I'm just like, damn, like, when is she gonna be okay? Or when is she gonna be like this? When is she gonna be like that? But I've been noticing that I be rushing time sometimes and you can't really do that. So I'm not honest to God truth. I can honestly say and answer this truthfully that yes, I am okay. Like, I'm doing good. Like... Yes, I'm good. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I'm good. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what inspires you to keep going? Um, what inspires me to keep going basically is my past. Like, I don't wanna keep ending up where I used to be. So that basically, is, like nobody inspires me to keep going. Probably so, but I really can't put a, a mm -hmm. like a name on it. But honestly, my past inspires me to keep going because who wants to keep Take it 10 steps forward to take 20 steps back. Nobody wants to do that. So my past basically keeps me going, honestly. So basically you just want to be a better you. Right. Okay. Right. Okay. It's me versus me right, right. now. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, what's some goals that you have? Um, some goals that I have. Um, let's 
let's see. We could do short term right now. Okay, short term. Um, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I really want to, um, cause I'm I live in Atlanta now, so I really want to take my body contouring serious. Um, I've been taking this YouTube stuff serious, so I have to get my YouTube uh going first. But I really want to take my body contour. Y'all. Serious. Spam her in the comments <laughs> because she needs to start and get get right. <laughs> <laughs> I really want to take this body contouring serious, y'all. This is what I really want to do. Yes, yes, yes. Um, if y'all know that I am a lash check as well, but I'm starting to lose my passion for lashes. But hint, hint, Kiana is the one that tells me that, girl, you need to start back doing lashes. So I, And I'm living in a city to where, like, whatever I want to do, it would expand. It wouldn't take no time. It's going to jump right off the porch. Like, it's, it's going to go. So, you know, I'm trying to get this YouTube shit in motion. And once this is in motion, for real, for real, then I can focus on... My body contouring, my lashes, y'all. Y'all don't know about the cat and East, but y'all gonna know about that later on down the line, so. Okay, so you did mention YouTube just now. So what made you start YouTube? The people around me, honestly. My cousin made me start YouTube. Um, my friends made me start YouTube. I didn't want to be a YouTuber. If we being honest, because I told you I was going to keep it real with y'all. I was going to keep the gangster. I never wanted to be a YouTuber. Like, this was not my dream. This was not my passion. Um, me personally, I wanted to be do like model modeling and stuff like that because I'm like I'm a girly girl, like a real girly girl. But once I tried YouTube, they was like Tati because I used to be in the YouTube video, so they was like Tati, you should start your YouTube channel because like you have the personality for it, you have the face for it, like you pretty, like they gon' they basically gonna fuck with you on YouTube. So you know, y'all did just that. Y'all did just that. Y'all did y'all did y'all thing for y'all girl. It's giving what it's supposed to give. Not nah, nah for real. Like it's really giving. So I mean like. It's something different, but I like it. Like, I like it. I feel like it fit me. Like, I never knew YouTube would kind of fit me, but it, it, it fits me because it brings out my personality and personalities that I didn't know I had. So, I like Thanks. it. I like it. Um, okay, so how old are you? I am 23 years old, y'all. My birthday is August 11th, which is in three days. Tell your girl happy birthday, period. 1998, your girl's gonna be the biggest 24 of them all, period. Uh, the next question is, when do you think you're going to hit 30K subscribers? Um, where we at? We at almost 16K. Yeah, 15.8. 15.8, period. Um, I think I will hit 30K subscribers um, because I normally give myself a time frame. Like, I used to give myself, like, when I hit 10K, when I hit um, 5K, when I hit 1K, I gave myself, like, a time frame. And I used to hit them, like, I gave myself a week and I would... Hit them in like a couple days before the week hits. 30k, I'm not gonna lie because a lot of shit has slowed down. I, I probably would have been past surpassed 30k by now. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I probably would have been past 30k. Uh, I'll give myself. I say like. I'm gonna say like a month and a half. Maximum, max two months. No, I'm not going over two months. Max two months. Yeah. Yeah, because I'm doing this shit by myself now. So, you know, Max. And she's still doing very well. I'm still doing very well. Don't need nobody. You know what I'm saying? No shade to nobody. But, you know, y'all here for Tati. This is Tati the Hottie's channel. So, y'all here for me. So, I'm doing this by myself. So, I give myself two months. Well, a month and a half, but the max is two months. I'm not going over two months. I'm not going over two months. No. Okay, so. The girls want to know some tea. Oh, guys. Girls want to know some tea, so we gonna get to you know the spicy questions. Okay. We gonna spice it up a little bit. Okay. What is the freakiest thing you've done? What is the freakiest? You in my business? But I'm gonna answer that for y'all. The freakiest thing I've done. Damn, I should have had a bottle because I definitely would have took a shot today. <laughs> the freakiest thing I've done, like with a boy or with a girl? With a boy. The freakiest thing I've done with a boy. Is freakiest thing like nastiest thing? Mm, freaky and nasty kind of like the same thing. Freaky is just a little more than nasty. So it's like. I think the. But everybody's freak is different. Like freak levels are different. So to you may not. Your freakiest thing may not be what somebody else's freakiest thing might be. You know? Oh, okay, y'all. Don't judge me after I say this, okay? Um, the freak, the two freakiest things I've done, I'm gonna give y'all two because one of them I just feel like ain't enough. Um, I let somebody spit in my mouth, that's one. But the freakiest thing I've done too, 
because I really like haven't had like a partner to where they like, I mean, I had some, you know what I'm saying? But I would never really had like a partner that gave me like, damn, like, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like the freakiest thing I've done was like, don't judge me y'all. I've had, I had the most amazing sex um, on my cycle. Excuse me? What? Bro, what are you talking about, man? Yeah, I yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that's freaky. Me, like, that's freaky because that's one. Like, that's one of the ones. Yeah, that's one. And it was just like so. Cause if y'all, if you know, you know. If you a girl, then you know that you you're more horny when you're on your cycle than when you're not. You know what I'm saying? So I feel like she minus well why the fuck not? <laughs> yeah, you know. But yeah, that's. I feel like that's my freakiest thing. Okay, so the next question is the first time doing. Mm, we gonna whoa, whoa, we gonna slow it down. We gonna slow it down. Okay. We gonna back it up a little bit. Okay. We gonna back it up a little bit. Okay. Um, let's see, let's see, let's see. Are you dating anyone? Yes, I am dating someone. Um, yeah. Shout out to you, Mr. One of One. Shout out to you. Yes, I okay. am dating. Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, we just a little bumps in the road, but that ain't any obvious business, but you know, that's my dog. Period. Do you think that you would bring him or introduce him to YouTube? To be honest, I've been wanting to introduce him to YouTube, but he's just not the camera man. Like he, I've been trying to get him to at least do at least one video with me. Like y'all, it's hard for him to even do a damn TikTok. He don't even want to do a damn TikTok with me. Like, I'm, if, if y'all want to see him, I'm going a, I'm to a sneak him on my channel and have him, like, kind of get used to it. But as of right now, he don't want to be, he don't want to be on the camera. But I'm going to put him, I'm going to put him on my channel. I'm going to sneak and get his ass. I'm going to do a prank. I'm going to sneak and get his ass to watch. I got y'all. I got y'all. Okay. So we're going we gonna to roll it back. Because, you know, people was in our business. Okay. Coming in you in my business. They was. You in my business. Don't do this. No, coming in here, interrupting us. So, what's the, f okay, first time doing something with a girl and if the experience was good or not? The first time me doing something was a girl with a girl was like, I wanna say either 2018 or 2019. Yeah, 2018 or 2019 and was the, Baby, let me tell you, I ain't went back yet, baby. No, I'm lying. I ain't went. I that made me like girls. I'm not gonna care because I I was interested. I was like, damn, what's the hype about? Like, I wanted to see and like the girl. She was cool. She a light skin. Shout out to you, bitch. Like, shout out to you. She got her a baby now and shit. But bitch, she yeah. I love the experience. It, that's what makes me. That's what got me liking girls today. Like, you know what I'm saying? Period. Shout out to you. Okay, so the next question is, do you want kids? If so, how many? Uh, I'm not gonna lie, y'all. I used to be the I used to be the person that would scream all day, I don't want no kids, I'm not having no kids. But it's like once you get older, your mindset changed and you it's like you don't want to be by yourself. You know what I'm saying? You wanna have you like a mini you or whatever, like or a a, a little boy, like so yes, I'm gonna say I do want kids. Maximum two, minimum one. Yeah. Um, so I'm gonna just go with two. One girl, one boy. Yeah. I don't. I not doing three, four, five, six, seven. I'm not with that. One or two. Two is the highest that I'm going. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's all. Okay. Uh, the next question is: Do you have any regrets? Um, I used to, but now it's just like everything happens for a reason. So I don't have no regrets in life. Like if I can, so if me, if me saying if I can go back and change some shit, I would. Is that me regretting something? Uh, not necessarily. Not necessarily. So if I can go back and change some things, then yes, I would go definitely go back and change a whole bunch of shit. But I don't regret nothing that I've done. Like ever. I, I don't regret nothing that I've done. I feel like... I feel like I've learned a lot and I've taught myself a lot as well. So, no, I don't regret nothing, but if I can go back and change some shit, most definitely. Hell yeah. 
Okay, so I have a question. What would you go back and tell your 18 year old self? Girl. I will go back and tell my 18 year old self that no matter what people say or do to you, I just feel like have your back, have your back more than anybody else would have your back. Be stronger than yourself. Um, don't let your mind control nothing because their mind could be a very strong thing. Um, my 18 year old self, I would also say because I was I was very, very like into having a lot of friends and like caring what other people would think. I would tell I would go back and tell myself, girl, fuck what everybody think about you. Fuck how they feel. They don't care about you. Nobody is your friend. Like this just do your shit, pop your shit. Like have that mindset to where you know where you going. Ten years, ten years later, five years later, like bitch, be you. You know what I'm saying? Be that girl. Period. Have your money up too, baby, because that's the most important thing. Like, save your money, period. Be in your bag. Okay, the so next question is, if you had to guess what people appreciate about you the most, what would you say? Um, I would definitely say my heart. I would definitely say my heart. Um, why? Because people are always, not gonna say people are always calling me for something, but I feel like people, I'm the one people, choose to call, whether it's they want something, whether it's they want to just talk about something, whether it's just they want to cry, whether it's they want to see me, because like like I said, I'm the light in a dark room. Like once I walk in the room, everybody's smiling. Oh, Tati this, Tati that. I feel like the main thing somebody appreciates about me or everybody appreciates about me is my heart. Like my heart is real big. I'm not gonna cap, my heart is real big. Real, real, real big. Real, real big. And my personality. But number one, my heart for sure. Okay, so we got a, a more than enough questions. You know, you've been getting questions on TikTok, okay. on YouTube, okay. Instagram as well about the Bink situation. Ooh. So let's kind of switch it up a little bit and head towards that way. Okay. Um, what happened between Binks and Takiya and Pete? Um. <laughs> okay, y'all. So, what happened between Tati, Binks, Takia, and P? Um, it was a lot of it was a lot of emotions that was involved. Um, like I said, it was very miscommunication. So, this is what happened, y'all. So, as y'all know, um, Binks, Binks, Takia, and P had a, a, a house in Houston. It was like an Airbnb. They had a house in Houston or whatever. Um, I was going over there. Me and my cousin was going over there every day, and that's when we started actually taking YouTube serious. Excuse me. That's when we started taking YouTube serious. Um, after that, I went forward into being into YouTube, and um, so they was talking. They was like, "We gonna fly y'all out to Michigan." Um, then actually, that next following week, uh, they said that they was gonna fly us out to Michigan. The next following week, uh, we was gonna collab. They was gonna do this and this and that, right? My cousin never ended up going. I went. So I went, I literally went to Michigan. I stayed out in Michigan for a month. Um, I ended up getting signed to So Famous. Um, I was grinding every day, grinding every day, grinding every day, grinding every day. So after that month was over, we all, um, we all went to Atlanta. They stayed in Atlanta for like, I wanna say like a good four days. A good four days. I'm not gonna lie. Shit started going downhill when everybody went to Atlanta. So like, a, a th things happened with um, a manager and some shit just went left. So I started feeling some type of way about about um, Binks, but um, I talked to her about that. So that that was cool. That was handled. Um, they went back to Michigan. I never really ended up going. I was supposed to go back June first because at the end of the day, yes, I'm I'm grinding for YouTube. Yes, I want this YouTube stuff, but I have a family in Atlanta that I need to make sure it's straight. I have to make sure myself is straight too. But I mean, like, I just felt like I had unfinished things to do. That me moving to Atlanta, I couldn't just put that on hold. I had to, you know, get everything together. So I talked to Binks and I was like, I'm going to be here. I will come back June first. That was the last conversation we had. Like I would call Binks phone, she would never answer the phone. Like I would t I would text Binks Binks to Kia and P 
um, my job, I was signed, I was signed to Self so Famous, so I was signed to Beans. Beans was my manager, right? Okay, so I would let them know, like, I'm in Atlanta, yes, I had a plan, they, cause Mama Shea had asked me, she was like, do you have a plan once, once we leave Atlanta and we go back to Michigan, what are you gonna do? So I was like, damn, like, what am I gonna do? So I thought about it, yes, I had a plan, but you know, them videos can only last so long when you're by yourself, when you're doing shit by yourself. So I would text Binky, I would text, Takia, I would text P. I was like, hey, can y'all give me some video ideas? Like, I love y'all, what y'all doing? Nobody would respond, but my main thing was, can y'all give me some video ideas? Nobody takes back. Me being under y'all and me me being out here by myself, I, I feel like I should be comfortable enough to come ask y'all whether I had a plan or not for y'all to give me some video ideas. I just feel like that's not a big problem or whatever, so nobody was responding back. Okay, cool. I felt some type of way about that. Um, Binks got on live, um, and I just went on a rampage. Like I just, I just started like, y'all hoes don't see me calling y'all phone. Like y'all don't see me texting y'all phone. Whoop 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 whoop. I just went on a rampage, right? So they was like, they not gonna do this on live. So Binky ended up getting off live. Binky ended up getting off live, uh, and I ended up calling Takia phone, right? I don't know if it was Takia phone or Binky phone, cause I think I called, no, I, I called Binky phone earlier that day. Let me, let's rewind, I called Binky phone earlier that day, she declined my call and she was like, text me, I'm filming. But then I felt some type of way again, because I'm like, bitch, I've been texting your phone. <laughs> I've been texting your phone all day or every day and you ain't been responding, why would I text now? You know what I'm saying? So I felt some type of way about that. So I ended up calling again later on that day after I know, cause I know what time they stopped filming. Cause of course I was out there with them. So I had ended up calling her phone again. She didn't answer. So like fast forward to they was on live. I went on a rampage. Fast forward after that. I had called their phone. They answered. So Binky basically was like, uh, she was going through a breakup with Sid. And she was like, uh, she wasn't feeling it. It was the first of the month. Uh, you know how they be busy. They be filming, working hard first of the month or whatever. And then she was like, you wasn't really texting me about nothing. You didn't say, hey, what you doing? How you been? Are you okay? How's the breakup? She feels like since I didn't ask her those type of questions, that she felt like she didn't have to respond, basically. Um, Takia don't really be on her phone like that, so I wasn't really as mad at, I really wasn't as mad at Takia as I would be with um, Binky and P because Takia don't really be on her phone like that. You know Takia, you know Takia don't really be on her phone like that. So that was cool, but a couple days, uh, so we just stopped talking after that. Like it was just no communication, nobody talked to nobody. It, it's not, nothing big actually happened. It was just like miscommunications and emotions that was involved or whatever, so. Um, a couple a couple days ago, P had called me and we we talked about it or whatever, and we we um basically said that the communication just wasn't there or whatever. Like, them they they still call me their sisters. Like, they still cool. We still cool. Um, we hashed it out. Everything good. Shit, they love me. I love them. I mean, it is what it is. I have not talked to Binky. I talked to Taki and P. I have not talked to Binky. So, whenever we do decide we're gonna link up, we're gonna talk. But other than that, it's cool. You know. Do you miss them? Yeah, I do. I'm not gonna lie. I do miss them because like, like to be honest, I started YouTube with them. Like y'all, I'm, I'm gonna give it to y'all. Y'all know who Tasha the Hottie is because of them, but y'all gonna know who I am because of me. So let's not get it twisted. Like y'all gonna, y'all know, y'all found out who I was through them, but y'all gonna know who I am through me. You know what I'm saying? But yes, I do miss them. Like they the ones, they, they who I started with basically. So like, you know. Type shit. Um, for your current supporters now, what what do you? How can I cannot word this? What do you have in store for them? No, y'all. We finna we finna turn the fuck up. Yeah. Like, we finna turn the fuck up. Fuck everything else. We finna turn the fuck up. We, you know, y'all and y'all even tell me that when I drop my my pranks, I be dropping bangers back to back to back. Like, if I've ever dropped a bad prank, let me know. But I, feel, I sometimes I feel like I have, but y'all don't feel like I have yet. So like, we turning the fuck up. Fuck that shit. We going up. It's no way. It's no way that we all gas no breaks, baby. We took. I took a break. Yes, I did from YouTube. I took a break, but bitch. We ain't doing it no more. Team tied to the motherfucking hottie. That's what a wide not an eye. Period. So we going up. Okay, so the last question that I have for you today is what how can someone get a collab with you? Like what do you require? What do you, what do they have to have? Or what what can somebody what does somebody have to have to get a collab with Tati the Hottie? Um, honestly, like I've answered this question before. Like I've never really been like 
the oh you gotta have a thousand subscribers to get a, a collab with me like i tell y'all all the time even when i'm on live like y'all be getting on my live and i be telling y'all y'all want to collab just dm me like i respond to i probably don't respond to all of them but most of y'all i respond to like i respond to messages i've never been like oh i'm here now so i'm not gonna I'm going to look at y'all like y'all just, you know what I'm saying? I've never been that type of person. Like, y'all want to collab, DM me or whatever. We can set a price because, like, or we can just talk. We could talk. Just DM me. We can talk about it. Y'all don't really have to have too much for a collab. Like, because I know how that shit feel. Like, if I want to collab with somebody and, it, and it's, like, a, a bigger YouTuber, bigger than me, and it's, like, you looking like, bitch, because you was in my position before, too. So, you already know what's going on. So, Shit, I'ma help whoever whoever need help. You wanna collab? Let's collab. Fuck, you don't really need nothing from me. Let's just collab. Like, you just gotta be ready to work. Like, if you wanna collab, let's collab. I don't, I don't your like work ethic has to be your good. work ethic has to be real strong. Like, if you wanna work, let's work. We don't want. I don't wanna be sitting around. Like, no. Once it's time to work, it's time to work. Every day, me and my cousin get up. We taking our showers, brushing our teeth. Woo -doo -doo. Okay, it's time to work. No, let's work. If y'all want to work, let's work. Ain't no plan, ain't no bushing around. Don't hit me up if you bullshitting. Oh, I got to get this together. I get that together. Woo -doo -doo. No, if you want to work, let's work. Period. What is your final message to your supporters? My final message to my supporters, from my day one supporters, from the supporters that are supporting me now. I got to give a shout out to my day one supporters because... Bitch, y'all hoes never left my motherfucking side, even when I was down. Like, I cried to y'all. I was on live. Like, y'all was just always supporting me since day one. So, I fuck with y'all. We're going to keep going up. For my new supporters, thank y'all for tapping in. Your girl, this is Tati the Hottie. That's what a Y, not an I. If you didn't know, not a fuck you do. Period, y'all. So, like, I ain't going to lie. We going to fuck up. Like... It's, it's time to turn to like no more sad shit, no more how am I gonna do this, I'm by myself, woo -doo -doo. bitch, we gonna figure it out. We gonna figure it the fuck out and I, I'm glad I got y'all here with me cause we doing this shit. Y'all the ones who really keep me going cause like, if it was me, bitch, I would've gave up on this YouTube shit a long time ago. But I really appreciate y'all for real, for real. I really do appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much. I love y'all so much. And like I said, we going up all gas, no breaks until... It's time to stop, which is never gonna be time to stop. So, bitch, we going up. We going up, period. I really, really love y'all. Thank you for supporting me. I mean, shit, we wouldn't be here if it wasn't for y'all. So, hey, Tati the Hottie. Y'all made that name come true. Y'all made that name surface the world. Shout out to y'all. I love y'all so fucking much, period. Yeah, I love y'all, mm -hmm. period. So, y'all. That sums it all up. That wraps it up. The questions were very, very, very... I love the questions, y'all. Thank you. Because normally, when I be telling y'all to ask me questions, y'all just be asking me nothing but freaky shit. I don't got time for that, but y'all really did y'all big one with this one. Like, y'all really, really did y'all big one with this one. I love y'all. See y'all next time. If y'all want a part two, put comment down below. Part two, part two, part two. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post bell notifications on. Don't forget, my girl, this YouTube will be in the description below. I love y'all. Good night. Hello, you and Jason. Really want to have a daughter just so I can spot her. Maybe look at women different. Father God.